What's up guys? Today we're going to show you the world's greatest serve. This serve is so good that my return rate was under 50%. That's crazy. But before we get into that, let's take a look at what makes a good serve. Ideally, the shuttle reaches its max height at the net and starts dropping as soon as it passes it. This ensures that the opponent doesn't have any chance to attack the shuttle. So this would be a bad serve. Now let's take a look at an example from a pro player. If we look at the serve from the side view, it almost skims the net and starts dropping down. The opponent can't attack the shuttle, so he kind of just pushes it up. Now before I show you the world's greatest serve, which is what you're waiting for, let's take a look at what it's like to receive an ordinary serve. So you can see that the serve was pretty decent. I couldn't really do much with it, but I can still kind of push it to apply a bit of pressure. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Okay, okay, it's not legal in terms of BWF rules. They say that you can't serve by hitting the feather of the shuttle, but come on, it's still a fun serve to do against your friends, especially if they don't know about that rule. And if you really got it, you can even win multiple points in a row, since after you win a point, you continue to serve. And here's what that would look like. Good serve. You've seen the serve, now let's learn how to do it. Instead of holding the shuttle pointing down, we flip it around with the cork on your thumb and the feather on your fingers. What you want to do is slice the feathers at an angle like this. It's hard to describe exactly how to hit it, but just try it out and eventually you'll get it. Now the reason this serve is so good, because since you're hitting the feather, it generates so much spin that actually gives it kind of like a top spin effect which makes it curve down as soon as it reaches the net. And when the opponent hits it, the shuttle kind of bounces off the racket in a really random manner. Sometimes it'll go in the net and sometimes it'll go flying all the way out. And that's what makes it the greatest serve in the world. We hope you enjoyed this video. Go out and learn the world's greatest serve and do it against your friends, but not in an actual tournament because you will get faulted. Have a good day and we'll see you next time.